Hey, Jenny Lakenin here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a nurture email sequence in MailerLite so that when people opt into your email list, you can send them automated emails to nurture your relationship with them, to kind of welcome them into your world. If you're offering them um, as part of the, the opt-in a freebie that's a PDF, then in this using this email automated, this automated email sequence is a great way to deliver that PDF. And I'll show you how to do all of this. So um, in, and, and this is at, at the end of this video, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have three emails that are sent to your subscribers three days, um, three days apart. So one day in between each email. Now to get started setting this up, what you're going to need is obviously your MailerLite account, and then you're going to need the copy for your three emails which means a subject line and the actual text for each email. If you're delivering a freebie like PDF to them, you're gonna need that, that um, PDF. And that is just about it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is in your MailerLite account, you're gonna come under here to automation. And then we're gonna create a new workflow. A workflow is just MailerLite's name for like an autoresponder and, or an automated email sequence. So we're, I'm going to create a workflow here and we're going to give it a name. So it automatically just calls it, you know, workflow 10 or workflow one or whatever. But I like to just be a little more descriptive so that I know what I'm sending. So for this, I'm just going to call it YouTube five tips, um, five sleek website tips, because that's the PDF that I'm sending. And then the workflow trigger, this is what tells MailerLite when to send this automated email sequence. And I like to just set up my my um, subscription subscribers with groups. So I'm going to click when a subscriber joins a group, and then what I like to do is have an unwelcomed group for every like freebie that I'm offering for every different opt-in. So in this case, unwelcomed five sleek website tips. I've already created it. Um, if you don't have an, a group that's created, group is just another name for a list. Um, I would just click create new group and then type in a name and then hit create. So for now, I'm gonna so say um, that five sleek website tips. I do wanna allow subscribers to be able to join the same group because um, even if someone has already gotten the PDF before, if they kind of lost it or they just want to opt in again to share with someone, I want them to be able to get this autoresponder sequence again, even if they've already gotten it before. So I'm gonna click save. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna add an email. Um, and so we'll click that plus button, click email, and then this is where we need to go back to our copy for our email. So I'm going to just copy my subject line and paste it in here. And I already have who is it from filled in, but if you are just setting up your MailerLite account, you may need to just put your name and then your domain email right here. I'm gonna check, yes, I want to use Google Analytics to track clicks, and then, um, and if you, if to, to do this, this is really handy because you can see what people are actually clicking on in your, from your email. Um, you do have to have Google Analytics installed on your website. And I have a blog post on my website. I'll try to remember to link it below um, so that you can learn how to install Google Analytics. It's not very hard. All right, and then you wanna hit design email. And then I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna copy my first email content ahead of time. And then, um, you could start from scratch with your email design, but I like to create a template. Um, and I actually have a video that talks about how to create a template for your MailerLite account. I'll link that below too. It makes it really, really easy um, and quick to design your emails. So here you can see I've already got my branded template. I'm just gonna select that. It already has my email header and my, my brand like fonts and colors and everything in it. So that all I have to do is just paste in my copy. It's so convenient. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to, the only thing I'm going to edit here is the copy. So I'm just going to click this box to edit the content. And then I'm going to highlight all of this and delete it. And then I'm just going to control V to paste in my content. Now you can see here, I've already linked to my PDF. I did that in my Google Doc. So um, actually, I'm going to edit this from the Google Doc. I'm just going to copy that link and paste it to show you what it looks like. Um, so my PDF is already linked. 
If you want to know how to link your PDF, I'll just show you real quick. It's pretty easy. You could link it from, like upload it to Google Drive or to Dropbox and then link it from there. But what I like to do is upload the PDF to my website's media folder. And to do that, you come log into your WordPress dashboard and then um, you can go over here to media and click add new and then select files just select the, the PDF file from your computer and hit open, and then it will load it into your, your um, library. And then you can go back to the library. And I'm actually gonna filter um, by, if you've just uploaded the PDF, it'll be the very first thing. And so you can copy the link there, but I'm gonna actually filter it because by documents, because I've not uploaded this PDF recently. It's far back in my folder and then you just click on the file and then the file sometimes there's a pop-up that appears um, that has the same information on it or sometimes it takes you to a new page it just kind of depends on your setup but either way um, somewhere in the pop-up or somewhere on the page will be file url and you just double click there and um, i just press Control c to copy or you can right click and hit copy and then come over here to your p to your copy and highlight where you want to paste in the link edit paste, apply. And the same concept applies if you're adding it into MailerLite. You just copy the URL and paste it right there. So that's how you do the PDF and hit save. And then you can send yourself a preview email, a test email if you want to, to just see what it'll look like in your service, your email service, and hit done editing. And that is your first email designed and ready to go. We're like, almost done. I promise. <laughs> okay. Now what we want to do, the next action we want to add is a delay. And I want to wait one day to send them the next email and click save. You could add longer if you wanted, you could wait longer if you wanted to. Um, it's totally up to you, but now you know how to set the delays. And then we're going to add another email. I'm going to go back to my doc, subject line, copy, paste, check Google analytics, click design email. I'm going to go and copy my copy, control C. I'm going to select my branded email template. And then once MailerLite's done loading up, I'm just going to copy that. I'm just going to select that text box and paste in my content again. Control V to paste. And you'll see here I've linked the PDF again in this email. And I kind of just use this email as a little bit of a teaser to try to get them to read it if they haven't yet. Hit save, done editing. And while it's loading, I'm gonna go copy the third and last email subject line. We're gonna add another delay of one day. Hit save, add another email. I'm gonna paste in my subject line, check Google Analytics, design email content. Oh, and I need to edit that subject line when I'm done with the template. Hit the branded template. I'm gonna copy this content. And then once it's done loading up, I'm just gonna paste it in again. Select my text box, highlight, delete, paste in. Um, I think I'm gonna bold one of these sentences. I didn't do that in the, auto, in the Google Doc, but I want to break up the text a little bit with something. Hit save, done editing. And then I'm gonna make sure I edit that subject line. I wanna show you how to add personalization to a subject line. So if you wanna like, if you have um, someone's name saved in your, in as part of their information, like you ask them for their first name and their email address when they opt in, you can personalize a subject line. So. Um, to do that, you just click insert name. And then um, I need to edit this because I want the, see here how it appears that the quotation mark or the, the question mark is before their name. And oh, that's a little weird, I want it to be after. Perfect, so now when I send an email to someone, it'll say, want me to take a look at your website, Susie? And it'll customize the subject line, which is really nice. All right, then I hit save. And then the last thing that I wanna do is an action and I want to, um, move the subscriber when they're all done with this email automation. I want to move them from the unwelcomed group to the welcomed group. And the reason that I separate out 
my subscribers like this is because I want to know who's still in an, in an automated email sequence and who's done with an automated email sequence because I want to only send my like weekly newsletter emails to people who are not in an autoresponder because I don't want them getting more more emails from me. Um, I don't want to I don't want them to get more than one email from me a day. I don't think that's um, I always unsubscribe when I'm getting more than one email from somebody. So that's what I like to do. Um, and then click save. And then the last thing you need to do is just turn on your automation. And that is it. You have just created your first, um, now you know how to create your first email autoresponder sequence. Super easy to do and a great way to nurture leads when they're added to your email list. Um, and I will link those resources that I promised below. I'll also link this actual like five um, sleek website tips like PDF download um, below if you want to go opt in and receive that. That is what I have for you. If this was useful, hit the subscribe button so that you can get future um, tech tutorials to up level your coaching business.